Next on our tour of the old Mordecai Richler Hans, we come a bagel's toss away from Walensky's to Fairmont Bagels. Been around since 1919, the oldest commerce of its kind in the area. Richler was known to pop in here for a sesame bagel or two in his youth. The place is still going strong. This area might have become rapidly gentrified with all sorts of uh, high-end bistros and shops and all the rest, but there is another holdout, Continental Butcher. Been around for 80 years. The Richler family was known to have come here to buy their meats and cold cuts in the day. I'm here with Aaron Weiss, proprietor of Continental, been around since 1935. What is the secret to your success, Mr. Weiss? We're selling the best cold cuts made here on uh, premises. So if you want smoked turkey or turkey roll or other kinds of deli, we make it here. So, Do you find the area has changed a lot since you've yeah. begun? How so, sir? So it's getting back to the old timers, people coming back and a lot of Jewish people in the area. But you don't only have Jewish clientele, you, have, uh, you cater to all. Oh, yeah. And if you needed hardware or painting supplies back in the 50s, there was only one place to go, Miller Hardware. And with me right now is Mr. Pincus, the owner of this establishment and one of the longest lasting, also in the hood, been around since 1952. And do you find that the neighborhood has changed rapidly since you've been here? It has changed, but I uh, see in the paint business, people still want to come to the small mom and pop stores because they like to get the service and the advice and the knowledge what they have. And that's a big thing that we like to give over for the customers. And that's why they come back to the small mom and pop stores. Thank you, sir. May no you problem. have many more years of good luck here. No problem. Thank you. Thank you.